what is going on people welcome back to another video on aj5 and in today's video guys is all about this cryptocurrency here called bittorrent btt one of your favorite cryptocurrencies so i thought you know what let me make another price update price prediction and yes it has just about gone down two percent in the last 24 hours and it has been dipping quite a bit over the last couple of days and weeks so a lot of people have been asking me is it even worth holding on to BitTorrent? Should you sell it? Should you buy more? Should you wait for a dip? So on and so on. So I'm going to try and answer as many questions as possible. But before I go into any of that stuff, if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed yet, guys, please make sure to go down and smash that subscribe button as well as like the video as I'm trying to hit 50,000 subscribers as soon as possible and once I do hit that target there will be a cryptocurrency giveaway which you guys can join by simply subscribing to the channel and for a bonus entry following me on Instagram link to that will be in the description box down below so over the week it has gone down 5% and over the month a massive 18% which obviously means it has not been performing too well so uh, we've got the volume in the last 24 hours 53.2 million dollars and the uh, trading volume has indeed gone down by just about 15 percent because obviously not many people would be selling it right now as it has gone down in value and it has been going down in value for the last couple of weeks and not many people will be buying it right now because it hasn't dipped that much and the fact that it just keeps dipping every single day or every single week there's no such thing as buying the dips when a crypto keeps dipping so let's have a look at the candlestick pattern chart so obviously i've got the fibonacci scale right now but i'm gonna hide that we're gonna look into that later on in the video what i'm gonna do now is get the macd indicator which is the uh, indicator that i'm going to be using to do the price prediction and obviously we've got the candlestick pattern chart at the top here showing us how BitTorrent has been performing and we do also have uh, the sma indicator running across the chart the purple line which is currently valuing it at this value here ending in 206 however it is currently trading at 231 which is very good because it is over its average value meaning it's performing quite well however do expect uh slight dips in value over the coming hours but we'll get into that right now so again before i go into that just to make sure this is no financial advice i'm not a financial advisor anything i say is from my own prediction and my take on this crypto and any gains or losses you guys make i will not be responsible for so we are currently looking at the 30 minute chart for the short term traders and then I'll move on to the hourly, daily and weekly chart for the long term investors like myself. So zooming in here we can see that the blue line and the orange line are both looking bearish going in a negative direction meaning slight drops in value are expected over the coming hours. So hey I'm talking about towards the end of the day today early hours of tomorrow we should expect a slight drop in value on BitTorrent again. I'm not saying it's going to completely drop in value or have a huge dump or anything like that. Obviously, we're going to see green candles, we're going to see red candles in between, but the overall outcome seems to be more on the negative side rather than the positive side. Now, moving on to the hourly chart, next couple of days, what can we expect? We are still looking bearish, going in a negative direction, meaning more drops in value are expected over the coming days. So in this case, I'm talking about mid next week towards the end of next week as well we should expect more drops in value for BitTorrent which is not looking too great so far let's move on to the big boy daily chart we are finally looking a little bit positive but I wouldn't say this is accurate the only reason I say that is because we don't have much historical data so if we look at the graph here uh, the first time it was listed on the website that I'm currently kind of looking at is 17th of January so we just about have a month and a half worth of data so obviously with this much historical data we won't be able to do the long-term prediction I mean I can do it but it's not going to be accurate and I don't want to provide you guys with the you know inaccurate information or you know just the wrong information so I'm going to leave that out of the way so let's not get into the long term prediction so I'm going to get rid of this uh, MACD indicator and get the Fibonacci indicator out here so we can see the highest has been to when it was first listed and um, that was at the top here when it was 100% but right now we was in the let's have a look here let me zoom out a little bit so we were in the red part for most of the time but right now we have decided to get a little peak in value and go into the green zone which is above let's have a look here 20 as you can see 23.60 percent so we have uh, that's the average resistance level as you can see every time it hits that level it drops back down it hits that level drops back down and it has once again dropped that value and it is likely that it's going to drop back down because that's what's been happening all this time and 
yeah, once it hits that 23, 24% target, every every time it hits that, obviously it goes a little bit beyond that and then never goes above the 38% or reaches the 38%, it literally drops back down. So that is very, very likely to take place over the next couple of days and weeks as well. So do expect it to drop down into the uh, red zone however guys if it does manage to beat the 38 percent mark and you know gets to this level here let me zoom in and go up a little bit why is it not working okay here it is so i'm gonna uh, push it pull it down like it was and then if it does manage to get to the blue section here uh, above the 50 percent or 38 percent even sorry then yes it will break out however i highly doubt it will uh, break out to the 38 percent however if it does obviously i'm going to keep you guys updated on a regular basis like i do with all my cryptos including BitTorrent, make sure you stay subscribed and turn on the bell notifications to get notified every time i upload but yeah hopefully we should see some good news not just on BitTorrent but the whole crypto market however we can see bitcoin has dropped below the forty thousand dollar mark which is not looking too good so hopefully you know once it recovers hopefully towards the end of march early april we should see some more positive uh, outcome not just on BitTorrent, not just on bitcoin but the whole crypto market then we should be able to break out over the coming months but yeah let me know in the comment section down below how often you guys want BitTorrent updates. Is it once a week, twice a week, three times a week or whatever it may be. Comment down below and I'll try and upload according to your comments. And also guys, comment down below your predictions and your takes for BitTorrent this year. Will it keep going up in value? Will it keep going down? What's the highest figure it can hit? So on and so on. Comment down below because I'm very keen to find out how many of you guys are bullish and how many of you guys are bearish on BitTorrent. But yeah. That is pretty much it guys for today's video just a quick price update price prediction on BitTorrent I hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave it a like and if you didn't leave it a like as well so either way go down and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel let's try and hit 50k subscribers as soon as possible and also obviously uh, if I have not mentioned it or if you have not watched my previous BitTorrent videos this is the new BitTorrent that's why we don't have much history or data so if I type in BitTorrent here there's the old one here that's the BitTorrent old btt old and we've got the btt new but which is what we're currently focusing on obviously the old one we don't need it anymore so yeah just in case you guys want to go and check your graphs or something make sure you select the new one i thought you know what let me just get out there before you know i confuse some people out there but yeah that is pretty much it a massive th thank you to every single one of you who have been subscribing liking commenting and just supporting the channel in any way or form a massive shout out and a massive thank you to all of you guys again it is another red day for the crypto market but hopefully later today we should be able to go into the green zone but we're gonna have to wait and see but yeah I just want to say thank you to every single subscribers out there, the old subscribers, the new subscribers, a massive shout out and a massive thank you to every single one of you and I appreciate each and every single subscribers out there, keep supporting the channel and I'll keep giving back and that is the motive and on that note I'm going to end the video here guys, before you click off make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment and all that stuff, you know what to do and I'll catch you in my next crypto update which should be later on today, until then take care and peace.